take ISIS, let's take the Middle East, let's take all the places where there's a lot of violence. Where do you see that going? I think I see all those things as problems that our, our race of people have. I mean, we're all individuals. We all have different views. Not everybody believes like I do. A lot of people believe that there's so many different beliefs out there that it's hard to put, it, put everybody in the same um, corner and say, okay, this is the way it's going to be. Uh, this is the, what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, I think that there's people like like you and me, for example, who want to make a difference somehow, even on a small level, and that's where it all really starts. Uh, people in There are people out there that are going to want to kill other people. There's just no way around that. So why, why the violence? Why do you think the violence continues? Can you stop? Uh, I, I, I don't think it can. I think that there'll always be a level of violence, and I think that we can only strive to end that violence. It's, it's a progress. It's not, we're never going to reach perfection. It's always going to be a progress going forward, and I think that's enough for our race. You see that in other species as well, you know, not just human beings. You see, you see it in all kinds of animals, and they they weed each other out. They, this is bad, this is good. They clash, uh, and they, hopefully the right thing comes out. But if it doesn't, then we still move on. It's happened for centuries and centuries in our human, be human beings being on this planet. It's just the way we are. I don't, I'm not going to say there's right or wrong, uh, and maybe we're placed here by this God that I believe in uh, to work all that stuff out. And maybe... I don't think that person, that God, that being is looking down and saying, okay, let's roll the dice and see what happens. Uh, I think he's, he, I say he, this being has given us every opportunity to work these things out. And it may be that we won't ever achieve that in our lifetimes, and I doubt we will. I mean, we're old men, so we're going we're gonna to be dead before any of that stuff works out. But... And that takes me to another subject, a life after death. I don't know if there's a life after death or not. I don't think it matters. I think that we should live this life on earth that's been given to us, this beautiful place. We should live it to the fullest. Most people of religious beliefs believe that there's going to be a reckoning at some day when they die. It's going to be decided so you've been bad your whole life, or these are all the bad things you've done, or these are all the good things you've done, but mostly all the bad things you've done, and you're going to go to hell or you're going to go to heaven. I think that there is a soul in each of us that's going to live on in, in some way or another. And I think our goal, since we're here now in the now, we should live our life to the fullest as it is right now and be as good and as help everybody as much as we can uh, and I think that whether or not I mean there's that's the whole moral issue that's what religion's all about it's the moral issue it's about um, do you live your life in a moral way which is you know you can go back to the Ten Commandments you can go back to all that stuff um, but I think you, you and I know what good and bad is. And I think that we try to live our lives ultimately in as best as we can with the stuff that we're given. Um, and there are a lot of people that are so much worse off than me. I mean, I can't even imagine that, there's, that they're, they don't have a place to live or they don't have any food to eat or they can't feed their kids, which is even worse. Or, uh, I mean, can you imagine not being able to feed your kids?